Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, this is actually a bonus read, so it should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Cancer? Overall energy for love and romance for Cancer. Overall energy. Okay. Ten of Wands. All right. What's Cancer's person of interest? What is their energy? What is their overall energy in this relationship? Or what's their overall energy right now with love and romance with Cancer? Okay, Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius or somebody that has a um, Saturn in Sag. Five of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy, Mercury and Taurus. Um, how does... Cancer feel romantically. Okay. The moon. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Where I feel like now maybe these are gnarly cards. And then maybe we're going to have good cards come out. Maybe that's a hope. I don't know. All right. What's the current situation between these two romantically? The sun. Okay. See, it's like not as bad as we think. All right. What's the best potential outcome here for these two romantically? these two romantically attraction you know yes okay so let's just get into it I, uh, first of all the first thing I, I i feel like is this for some of you guys children um that's what's causing i feel like um a level of delay or there's something pertaining to children where somebody has children and they don't know how to leave a relationship like there's something here the overall energy of your relationship is something about children um, I feel like cancer, you're starting to find something out or something is coming to light where you're having the ability to heal. And I feel like your partner cancer, um, they feel like the relationship was kind of a one-sided relationship almost. And where somebody was putting forth more energy than the other person that's coming in. Um, okay. 10 of wands is here. Now the 10 of wands normally for me, that's like walking away, that's moving, that's picking up and leaving. But also, too, this, this is something that's very committed to ethics, right? Uh, committed to doing the right thing or playing by the rules, I feel like. So if somebody's not doing that, I feel like they're walking away or leaving a situation. Can you give me more information here on the Ten of Wands for the current um, overall energy for these? Okay, with the Four of Cups. So there is your... Um, Moon and Cancer, I feel like somebody is going to have to leave a situation. The, the overall energy is, is leaving something behind that's no longer serving you or that's no longer enough. I feel like um, there's been a period of time for you and your partner to think about the situation or the relationship. And something definitely has to be sacrificed here between the two of you in order for you to have a new start. So we have Aquarius, Pisces. We have, um, again, Taurus and also um, Aquarius Pisces. Like, it, in order for there to be a new start, somebody has to leave something behind in order to have that forward movement. One card here for the overall energy for Cancer and their person of interest romantically. Keys on a ring, okay? Again, I feel like, like you or your person, because I'm... You know, it can resonate differently for everybody, right? But there was more than one person involved here. So that gave somebody an option. And there was a decision. There is a decision that has to be made because somebody's being strung along right now in this situation. And the card that represents that is keys on a ring. But what's crazy here is like, I feel like, to be honest, okay, I feel like that's being left behind. The reason I'm saying that is because we have the soulmate card here with lightning, okay? And anytime you see lightning, it's about sudden change or shocking. Like there is a level of shocking news. I feel like lightning comes after the thunder. So after something big hits, it's like, boom, there's the lightning that strikes. And there is some type of shocking news that's very surprising, but I feel like it's surprising in a good way. 
So if you were upset about something or heartbroken or deeply sad about the separation or whatever's going on here, things are starting to kind of come back together, I feel like. So your person's energy is the goddamn five of pentacles. So I feel like your person is taking a period of time to come to some type of decision, right? You can't push a Taurus to do anything. Taurus goes at the Taurus's pace and they do what they need to do, right? About comfort, care. Um, so I feel like I'm not saying your person is a Taurus. I'm just giving you what this card is, is meaning. But they're very slow to start something new. And I feel like this person too, they, they tend to hang on to things. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for their person of interest um, energy? With the Ace of Wands, okay? Some of them may be leaving this situation behind. And in doing so, it's like they're kind of like out in, the, out in the cold. And maybe that's because there's some type of new start here. What's what's being left behind here? What what is this person leaving behind for Cancer? Oh, okay. The Knight of Pentacles, Gemini, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus, but more so this is Virgo or Gemini energy. I feel like it's leaving behind a stuck energy because what what are they walking towards? What what are they walking towards here? Three of Wands, they're waiting. Two of Cups, the World, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, just so you know, Queen of Wands to me, not only is that Aries energy, but to me, it's also Cancer energy. It's a more fiery aspect of Cancer. I feel like there is a conclusion here. And I feel like with the Two of Cups here, obviously this is a soul, you know, this is a, a soulmate connection. But I feel like they're leaving, they're, there's a chapter that's closing, and there is a heavy emphasis around that. So something is closing in order for this Two of Cups with the Queen of Wands to begin. So they're leaving behind whatever made them stuck prior, whatever they were giving to, right? Whatever they were not being honest about. And now it's coming out that it's something much different. How did Cancer feel about this? Look at you. You're over there like, mm-hmm, that's right. Now bring your ass over here so I can cook you a dinner and you're going to eat it all. And then I'm going to make ice cream sandwiches with fresh baked cookies and you're going to drink that goddamn cup of almond milk or milk, whatever the hell. Like this is an energy where it's like, good, thank you. You're finally doing the right thing. You're, you know, done breaking my heart. And I also feel like there's a level, like there is a confession here. And this is you, you and this person seeing one another or being seen. There's something to that. Um, yeah. I said, what is their energy when it comes to this relationship? Your partner's energy. It's heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together and perfect. Some of you guys may even be moving in. Somebody may be giving somebody the key. Somebody may be cutting out a third party or there is some type of breakup here um, that's stopping the pattern of fuckery. And it's also to abandoning that situation. There's something here that's being cut off. Now, how you feel about this person is the moon. Why is the moon here for how Cancer feels about them? The seven of wands reversed. Okay, interesting. One more card here. With the chariot. Okay, got it. So, Cancer, I feel like how you feel about this person right now is, and mind you, if this hasn't happened yet, it's coming to fruition it's coming to happen but with the moon here sometimes I don't always take this as something being hidden but I feel like this is a reflection so you know when you look into the water you don't know how deep it is right usually you can't see to the bottom but you can see your reflection I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other right now and I feel like for you what they've been hiding previously it's like they're no longer trying to conceal. They're more willing to be open about it. This is Mars and Leo. Like there's something that there is a very high passion or desire that's running here. And I feel like if this person was the one that um, had the upper hand here, it, that's no longer the case. I feel like you're going to have the upper hand. 
I also feel like there is a level of loyalty that's going to be demanded that is going to, uh, somebody's going to have to up uphold. I also feel like, um, this is, this is an action that's with the heart. It's, it's, it's not something, uh, you know, they're, they're acting off their heart and not their ego anymore, which is causing them a level of forward movement with you. Beautiful. I feel like I don't even have to clarify this to be honest, because it is what it is. It's like you're waiting for this person to do the right thing. You're waiting for this person to be single and leave that past behind. And just so you guys know, you see how I'm not talking about what you guys are doing? Because you guys already know what you're doing, right? Some of, some of you guys do have other relationships, right? Or situations that you're in where maybe it's like a loveless relationship, but you're still stuck. Um, but you and this person are going to be coming to a place where you meet each other equally in the middle. One card here, please, for how Cancer feels. Because you feel like that's the old. It's time to move on to the new. Make a decision. Make a determination. What are we doing? Because for you, it's like that's a codependent relationship. And either um, things are going to work out or they're not. It's very cut and dry with you guys, I feel like. Yes, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over and over in your head. So they may even come up and say something to you. But I also feel like for some of you guys, there may be a truth that's revealed. Okay, hold on. One card here um, for how Cancer feels romantically about this person of interest. Card here for how Cancer feels about this person of interest. Ascending camera, okay. You guys are moving past whatever obstacles were, were set prior. And there is a there is a level of expansion here and a new phase. So um, some of you guys are definitely preparing to see one another. Some of you guys are looking at photos or receiving pictures. You're thinking of keepsakes. Like there's something here where you want to learn from the past on how to move forward with this person. And I feel like for you, not pushing this issue has been key. And that's ultimately which caught that's ultimately what causes this big um beautiful like unveiling. That's what I think. Okay. Now we have the sun here. And the sun is here for your situation. So there obviously is some light at the end of the tunnel. Um things are moving very quickly. I feel like you're gonna be receiving somebody's receiving situation. I'm coming to see you. I want to talk to you. There's a lot of uh, good, I feel like, that's coming your way, Cancer. King of Wands. One card here for what's um, being communicated with this Eight of Wands. Okay. What's being communicated here with this Eight of Wands for Cancer? Knight of Cups with the Knight of Swords. Okay. That, this is the overall energy of the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. I feel like somebody is going to communicate to you. I think it's going to be very shocking, but I think it's going to be something that may hurt you from the past. It could pertain to children. However, I feel like it's a very honest and open conversation. And it's like, again, you guys are meeting each other in the middle and how you feel about it is a nine of cups. So Jupiter and Pisces, I mean, that's about being compassionate and now understanding what this person was going through. Like, I feel like this is you putting yourself in their shoes or somebody putting themselves in, in, in somebody's shoes and seeing that other perspective. It's like emotions and logic are now kind of coming together which is dope. Can you give me one card here, please, for the overall situation with love and romance for cancer and a person of interest? There's a lot of healing that's going on right now. Twin flames. And you guys know I don't like the word twin, twin flame. It stresses me out. I feel like people capitalize on it um, to make money, and I don't like that, but this is a card that came out. So yin and yang, balance, union, duality, coupling, um, and really complementing each other. I feel like there's an ending here to you chasing them. 
I definitely feel like that. And I also feel like th there's also an ending to the multiple people. And now there's going to be like, a, a, I feel like a very large expression of love coming strong. And it's crazy because there's something after this union between the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, and it's attraction. So I'm going to stop here. Um, for those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I appreciate you guys. I love you. And finally, some good things are going to be happening for cancer. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.